In question one, then, we are looking at exponents. So we are told that 2 to the m equals 8 and 2 to the n equals 16. So we are asked to find the value of m and n. So we should recognize that we could express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the power 3. And we know that 2 to the power m equals 2 to the power 3, therefore m equals 3. And similarly, here we can express 16 as 2 to the power 4, so therefore 2 to the n is 2 to the power 4, so n equals 4. We are then told hence or otherwise solve 8 to the 2x plus 1 equals 16 to the 2x minus 3. So we know from uh, what we have got he up here that 8 is the same as uh, 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. And similarly here, we also said that uh, 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. So we're going to use these now and substitute into this equation. So instead of writing 8 to the 2x plus 1, we said 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. So we're going to write 2 to the power 3 uh, instead of 8. And then we're going to raise that to the power of 2x plus 1. And we're going to equate that again. We know that 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. So we can write 2 to the power 4 uh, uh, and then raise that uh, as 2x minus 3. Uh, we can now use the laws um, of uh, indices to multiply out. So we can express the left-hand side as 2 to the power... 3 multiplied by brackets 2x plus 1. So that will give us 2 to the power 6x plus 3 on this side. And similarly here, using the laws of uh, indices, multiplying 2 to the power 4 times brackets 2x minus 3 is going to give us 2 to the power 8x minus 12. Now we've got them both uh, both sides of the equation with the same Base, we can just equate the exponents. So we can say that 6x plus 3 is equal to 8x minus 12. Remember, we can only do that because the bases are the same now. Uh, and therefore, we can rearrange that to get 2x is equal to 15. So therefore, x must be equal to 7.5.